Refugee resettlement is a complex process that involves multiple partners across government agencies, nonprofit organizations, and the broader community. These partners play distinct roles with clear guidelines throughout the resettlement process in the U.S. Government agencies on the federal, state, and local levels coordinate to make resources and services available to newly arrived refugees and other humanitarian newcomers. The United States government funds many initial services through the State Department, including a one-time fund for food, clothing, and rent to be used within the first 90 days in the U.S. Additional services are funded through the Office of Refugee Resettlement, or ORR, within the Department of Health and Human Services to provide financial and medical assistance for up to 12 months, as well as English language training, employment services, case management, and other support services for up to five years. Other federal agencies also provide support through mainstream benefits and services. ORR provides funding to resettlement agencies, state and county agencies, community-based organizations, schools, and healthcare providers to support their work together to provide benefits and services to refugees. State refugee coordinators and state refugee health coordinators are key focal points for resettlement within state government. They manage, coordinate, and provide technical assistance to improve services for newcomers in their states. Resettlement agencies are nonprofit organizations that are funded by the U.S. government and private donors to help support refugees and other newcomers when they reach the United States. Community partners like local communities, businesses, and faith-based organizations can also offer support, including by volunteering their time, providing donations, co-sponsoring newcomer families, and helping to create a welcoming environment for their new neighbors. With help from resettlement agencies and their partners, newcomers participate in English language classes, receive work authorizations, and apply for jobs. Other services include opportunities to improve economic well-being by building personal finance skills, increasing career readiness, preparing for higher education, and even launching small businesses. Newcomers also participate in health and wellness programs, including support with accessing health care. Special services available to youth include family, academic, and mentoring activities. Elders receive additional integration supports. Working together, the U.S. government, resettlement agencies, and community partners all help newcomers arrive in the U.S., access needed programs and services, and integrate into their new communities. Immigration categories or statuses change due to shifting circumstances around the world. For more information about newcomer benefits and services, visit acf.hhs.gov slash ORR and uscis.gov. You can find details about ORR eligible categories or statuses on ORR's policy page.